<clears throat> Come on, fellas. Let's go out back. Come on. Come on. And this is what I do most mornings before I have to go to work. I ain't gonna say I do it every morning because sometimes I don't. Now, I don't know what in the world that is. It looks like a hairball and it's been there for like a week. And they sniff it every time they come out here. When they go back inside, I will give them doggy biscuits. However, I would prefer it if they earned it by, you know, poo-pooing out here. Bobo seems to have an issue with uh, pooping in general. He thinks this is social time, so he's sniffing around for signs that uh, the girls next door have been outside. That would be Riley and Zoe. Of course, they're not always out at the same time. I bet the boys are, but when they are, they'll come over and say hi. Or when Daryl takes them out. He'll let them go over there and say hi. Hey, quit pulling on me. What you looking at? What are you looking at? Don't know. Come on, guys. I don't want you tangled up under there. So it's a Thursday, which means my day's off from work, Tuesday and Wednesday. I've come and gone. You better not be eating poo. You were, you little brat. I don't know why he does that. That is so gross. Don't you dare. But I'm all ready to go, and once I take them inside and give them their treats, and grab my stuff, and remind myself to make a sandwich, uh, then I'll be off to the laundry bubble. For another five days.
See, this is what they do. They drag me around. They're like, oh, let's go this way. Oh, let's go this way. And it's not good enough for them that, that they have a leash that I think is, you know, decent length. They want to go further. Anyway, I think I will say, um, see y'all later. Love ya.